the Dutch Beaumont Vitale 1871-88 rifle. Someone has asked me to do a disassembly video on this gun, and <clears throat> it is one that you have to be careful. Most people misunderstand it, and when they don't take the bolt out correctly, they damage the rifle and lose internal parts. Okay, so we're going to go over this real quick, and I'm going to take this gun apart. We're going to start, I'm going to set up the camera with removing the bolt. This is the most important and critical part, and after that, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Alright, the design of this rifle is kind of unique, without getting in-depth in the history. All of these guns were built as a single shot rifle. Then at a later point in time this magazine system was put in there and they modified the bolt design. I don't have one in the original single shot configuration to look at it or explain it but the most common variant is this so we're going to go over and like I said getting a bolt out because you'll find these people force this and damage these guns. So we clear the weapon, there's nothing there. If you're going to purchase the, one of these, make sure the extractor's intact and the ejector block in the back. <clears throat> the way this gun is designed, you cannot get this upper bolt head out of the receiver. You have to take the bolt apart in the receiver and then get it out. So what you do is you should have a good set of gunsmith screwdrivers, get the proper fitting screwdriver blade and remove this screw here. You remove this screw and that will release the bolt head. Turn this back and just slide the bolt out like this. This will not come out through the back of the receiver and the reason why when we look at it. We look, you have your extractor and on this side is that sliding block which is an ejector and this rides inside this groove of the receiver in here but if you look in the back here you can see it does not go all the way through. So the bolt head will not come out. You must release it and pull it out this way. And a lot of times people will break when you take this apart. Some have pins on there, but when you take this block out, like this, there should be a pin of some sort on there it is a guide for this slot in the block. So these are usually missing. People force the bolt and break the parts in there. So now we'll go and disassemble the rest of the weapon. Okay. If you have a cleaning rod in there, remove it. I had one of these in my other gun. I don't know if it's threaded in there, it's threaded on the end. I don't know if it screws into something, but this is so bent, it, it doesn't fit into any of the rifles. So there's a cleaning rod in there, try getting it out. And here you got your front guard, or your front barrel band. They're pretty easy. Depress the thing, get it around, get that band off. Next is the lower band, same thing. Depress this, slide it up, get it off. Now that clears your barrel bands. Alright, next, if you can see it, there's a screw here. Remove this screw. Come back to it when it's done. Okay, so we remove this screw here. 
Now, I think, yep. Back to camera. Taking the one screw out, we can lift the action out of the stock like this. And there's your barreled action. Okay, right there. So we can get that out of the way. Now, that was simple enough, and what you're left with is the stock and the magazine uh, assembly. I believe that screw there will release in here the magazine assembly. So I'm going to remove that screw. Okay, so we take this screw out. here and then that should get us to where yep it's in there a little tight I gave it a little push and this your whole magazine assembly comes out like this. Now, I wouldn't fool with this anymore but you can clean it and all the other. Now you have to remember when this stock was cut it was solid wood for here and now they hollowed it out. It's very weak. This one was cracked on both sides. I had to glue it. I may once I get it shooting again have to redo it. Now the only other thing you have here I believe if you remove this screw here, the trigger guard will come out of the stock. But I don't really think you have to. You're, there's no reason to remove it unless you want to get up under there. So that that's it there. So that's basically the disassembly of the rifle itself. Now, uh, let's take the bolt apart a little further. Now to kind of explain how the bolt works, I put it back together again so we can look at it. As you see the way the head is here, the head will not rotate, okay, in, in the gun. This block here locks into a slot into the receiver. It'll travel rearward, you know, and then when it hits the stop in the receiver, this is what ejects the case. That's how it works. That's why there's a blind end in the receiver where this hits. Okay, that's how it functions. So, in order to remove the bolt from the rifle, you have to get the, and this screw comes down and it protrudes down into this slot that rotates around. So, when you take this screw out, You see there's a end that rides in the slot. Okay, and there we go. And there's our bolt head. Now the bolt itself is pretty simple. And if you kind of twist it like this, as it would be in a closed position, there's a large screw here in the handle. Okay. And if you turn that, It's a very interesting bolt design. There are only two rifles that use this. This and the Japanese Matura. Okay, let's get this screw out. And there. Okay, your spring is housed in the bolt handle, and that flat spring is what drives your firing pin here. So when you draw that bolt back, that's the spring 
that's going to drive the fire. See then this, I believe, just yep, comes right out. There's your firing pin mechanism. And what that does is that kind of clips in there. So when you draw it back, I think you get the idea of how it works. That locks into that groove there. Just like that. It's pretty grungy. And then you really wouldn't have to disassemble this any more than, than it is here. So there's your two-piece bolt handle. And your bolt goes in like that. And your mainspring for the fire pin. Okay, I'm going to try to clean up some of this and then we'll go back and reassemble it. Okay, to reassemble the bolt, you hold this cocking piece and firing pin and you hold the lower bolt handle like this. It only goes in one way. And you slide it up in, rotate it. This is in the fired position right now. So when it sits in the gun, this is in the fired position. So we take our spring, place it in there. So it engages, take our handle, put it in the cutout for it, and get our screw. Well, we might have to kind of take it out a little. There we go. And we want to get it started. Now you may wish to pull this back and rotate it before you get full spring tension so the bolt is like this, which would be an open position to remove it. Okay? Because once you tighten this down, that's where you're going to get the full tension of the spring and that may be a little bit difficult. Okay, and just screw it in until everything looks good like this. And our bolt's ready to go back in. So that's our bolt disassembly. We'll set it aside. Now let's start putting the gun back together again. Okay. Screw right here has been tightened. Alright, our magazine back in place. And now we can go and take our barreled action with our trigger and it's all one piece and just set it back into the stock like that. Okay? And then to secure the action for the stock we take our screw here and we will go and tighten that down. Okay? Tighten this screw and we draw the action down in there. Now it's uh, putting on the barrel bands. And they're kind of important because other than this screw, them two bands is all that holds this gun together. Alright, take our rear barrel band, slide it down here, and run it down to it locks down here. Like I said, pretty straightforward and simple. And then we take the top one. We gotta kind of twist it around and lock that in. So there you go. That's your barrel bands. And next is the bolt. Okay, now to get the bolt back. Make sure the bolt head is assembled. Slide it in there so it rides in its slot. Place the bolt back. Back in. You don't have to pull the trigger or nothing. 
take your screw. What I like to do is close the bolt. That way you know it's lined up right. Screw that down to where it locks in, and that's it. That's your disassembly reassembly.